Welcome back to Aussie News TV and today we're getting to first look at Arsenal offered former player 5 year deal in transfer bid and then we're going to look at Leicester star James Madison given instructions on how to complete Arsenal transfer. So the first transfer line states that Arsenal offered former player 5 year deal in transfer bid. So the reports are stating that Arsenal made an attempt to sign former player Glenn Kamara from Rangers in the summer transfer window, according to reports. The Finland international has been brilliant since joining Rangers from Dundee in 2019, helping Steven Gerrard's side win the Scottish Premiership last season. Glenn Kamara has scored 4 goals in 106 appearances for the Gears, while he has earned 31 caps for Finland in just 44 years. The 25-year-old spent three years in the Arsenal youth ranks and made one League Cup appearance for the Gunners in his five years at the club, and it is now claimed that Arsenal were keen to take their former midfielder back to the Emirates Stadium in the summer transfer, transfer market. Glenn Kamara was also linked with newly promoted Watford, but the report insists that the Gunners made a move for Glenn Kamara as they looked to buy a new central midfielder. Arsenal were offering him a five-year deal, after shortlisting the Rangers star, but a deal did not get off the ground and the Gunners ended up signing Albert Sambi Lokonga from Anderlecht instead. Rangers boss Steven Gerrard recently revealed that there was an op offer of an improved contract on the table for Glenn Kamara to sign, and the midfielder offered an update while on international duty, Glenn Kamara said there have been talks and they have been ongoing, we will see what happens, I can't really tell you much and I can't really say more about that, let's see what happens. Meanwhile, Arsenal technical director Edu was forced to defend his transfer policy with Arsenal bringing in players to improve the squad overall. Edu said, We suffered last year because we lost a, play lost a lot of players and we didn't really have good backups to play games. I believe we need a squad to win games, we need a squad to be in a good position at the end of this season because it's not only about the first 11, we need a foundation. Of course it has hurt us to be in that situation, we are hurt, I am hurt, so I don't want to see the club there, but I want to see the team playing together, let's judge the team when they play together. Why are a few clubs around the Premier League just signing one or two players? It's because they already have the foundation, they already have the team prepared, I'm sorry, but the reality is we don't. So it looks like Arsenal offered former player 5 year deal in transfer bid, and Glenn Kamara is a player that was on the... Arsenal's Youth Academy and he did make that one appearance for his Gunners for his five year spell at the club and when it comes to Glenn Kamara he's a midfielder someone that can nicely sort in in that CM position in that central midfield position partnering alongside a Granite Xhaka partnering alongside a Thomas Partey but he's someone that is 25 years old so he would be coming at a good fee from Rangers at some point in the regions of 25 to 30 million euros because that is something that Rangers will be able to demand of a player of Glenn Kamara's capability and also would probably be regretting but they have to buy their former player but after making their move for Albert Sambi Lokonga someone that looks like a very good steal from the Gunners someone that has impressed heavily he has impressed heavily in Belgium and he has he impressed heavily for also in his few matches he has played but Kamara was then not bought in. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Leicester star James Madison given instruction on how to complete Arsenal transfer. So the reports are stating that Leicester City playmaker James Madison was linked with the move to Arsenal throughout the summer. James Madison has been told how to orchestrate his transfer to Arsenal after being linked with the move to the Emirates Stadium across the summer months. James Madison was given a reported £60 million price tag by Leicester Chiefs if he was to make the move to the English capital. However, with Martin Odegaard instead being preferred for a fee of just under £40 million, James Madison looks set to stay at Leicester City for the time being. The Gunners have spent under £50 million this summer, but with the potential rebuild on the cars, there may, may, there may well be space for James Madison next season. And despite Leicester finishing above Arsenal for the second season in a row, the pull of money and fame at the Emirates may be well enough for James Madison to jump ship. Steve Howey, the former Newcastle and Leicester City centre-back, believes that Madison would happily have been let go by Leicester had they not signed Martin Odegaard. But with the Norwegian costing a princely sum, it appears James Madison's dream move is dead in the water. Although Howey believes that if he wants the move so badly, James Madison needs to return to the form that he was showing when the link surfaced, something which he didn't show last year after being plagued with injury, Speaking to FTT, Howie was critical of James Madison for having his head turned. 
I think Leicester would have happily taken the money, but that's, that deal is dead now, with Erdegaard coming in, how he said. For me, I think it's a case of Brendan Rodgers getting him in and saying, listen, the, that deal is gone, concentrate. If you want to be away, give the performance that you were giving that you'd got noticed in the first place. Then you haven't got an issue, and if you want to go and we can get good money for you, brilliant. Happy all round. But yeah, if they have them performances and you're quite happy, we'll offer you a contract. James Madison burst into the Leicester side under Brendan Rodgers after the Northern Irishman introduced the creative style of play at the King Power as opposed to the swashbuckling 4-4-2 that won them the league. The commentary born midfielder looked to be a star at the Euros when Leicester were in league title winning form, but with the injuries and the rise in form of Mason Mount, Jack Grealish and Phil Foden, James Madison missed out some potential European glory. So it looks like Leicester star James Madison given instructions on how to complete Arsenal transfer. And when it comes to James Madison, we have a player that can come into that squad, fit that number 10 position and also could be a solid number 8 as well. He could be the perfect addition to Mikel Arteta. But the way he also have been moving around in the transfer window, the signings that we have bought in the summer transfer window, and players such as Martin Erdogan, who has been brought in that is very versatile. And I think this could introduce a player such as James Madison to say, you're going to be that number 10, you're going to be the player that we're going to rely upon, and you're going to have the opportunity to play in that number 10 role, to create things happen, to make things happen, to make stuff that leads to goals and assists, and that's something that Madison could have. He could play a vital role under Mikel Arteta if he still remains the manager, but James Madison has that flair, the technical ability to really be a top talent, and if he doesn't turn out to have the same performances as he did last season, it could tempt Arsenal to not sign him, but also it could be a motivation boost from James Madison to say, look, I'm going to try and push this transfer deal through. I want to make that move to the Gunners and that is something which could allow Arsenal to get him on a cheaper deal and get a player of Cali Madison's calibre to the football club. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal performs at the end of this season. If you want to see more daily videos from Arsenal News TV, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the like button so I know if you enjoyed the video and share the video to your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you there.